A mother of six was gunned down on Wednesday night inside her house on Parish Street in Santa Elena, Toncayo. Around 8.30 p.m., her son and a friend, Angel Martinez, were standing inside the fenced yard when two men rode up on a motorbike. A gunman alighted and opened fire on the unsuspecting duo. They ran to evade their attacker, but the gunman pursued them behind the house. As the gunman escaped from the residence, he would open fire into the house that was occupied by Young, her mother, and grandchildren. Young and Martinez were struck by bullets. While Martinez is in a stable condition, Young perished at the hospital. The blood trail in the yard and the bullet-ridden walls are telltale signs of the tragic incident. On the police's arrival, they observe Myrna Young, um, 58 years with an apparent gunshot wound to the chest area. Police also observe one Angel Martinez with an apparent gunshot wound to the lower back. Um, they were both transported to the San Ignacio Community Hospital where Mer Myrna Young succumbed to her injuries while undergoing treatment. Just minutes before the fatal shooting, a police patrol had left the area. David Young says that he was 10 minutes away from his house when he was told of what had happened. Heartbroken and overwhelmed by the loss of his wife, David says that the incident could have been worse. It was just about five to 10 minutes ago, before, um, behind the, the tragedy, right? Mm -hmm. And during the time of this tragedy, I was stopped on the road by a bicycle rider, right, a neighbor. He told me, say, your wife got shot, say, Let's go, hurry, make we go. Well, I drove up the way, come to the home. On the way reaching, before exiting, come off the curb, I reach at my house. I look on the area, and I look disgraceful. Because I see, I see in the doorway, I say, surely my wife ran at the door when she heard the shot, right? But that was not so, right? She did not have the time to run to this door, right? She got shot inside of the house. How dreadful, how hurtful, <laughs> inside. There were a lot of other persons, including children, inside the home when these shots got fired. Everybody made the inside. The two children, the one three years and the other one eight, right? And gunshot to fly over these children's heads. Myrna was shot to the chest. The bullet exited her right side, but David says she hemorrhaged to death. Martinez, however, is in a stable condition, but we are told that he may have been left paralyzed by the shooting as he was hit to the lower back and the bullet may have penetrated his spine. But what could have triggered the gun violence? It is known that Myrna's son, Jorge Galindo, was recently arraigned and remanded to central prison for the murder of Nelson Flores, who was shot and killed inside his house a couple blocks away from the most recent homicide. Residents and the family believe that the incidents are related. While police would not confirm whether Wednesday night's shooting is retaliatory, ACP Joseph Maivet says that they are looking at all angles. This is the police investigation looking at the possible uh, relation to the murder of Nelson Flores, for which George Galindo was uh, charged. Yes, we are looking at all angles. So you believe that it's retaliation? We are not saying that at this point. We are saying that we are looking at all angles in relation to the investigation. There are people on the street right, saying that I had nothing to do with that murder. Right? It is not our it is not our style or our custom to be covering things for children, right? Because these these people, the Galindo family, brothers, <laughs> they know to every offense committed the appear. <laughs> we don't appear this way. We are innocent people, man. Today, a checkpoint had been installed almost in front of the Galindo Young residence in Santa Elena in an effort to prevent further violence in the community. But is an all-out gang war happening in Santa Elena? Commissioner of Police Chester Williams says that they will intervene as much as possible. Don't want to get around separate, but it seems as if there is not only a hand, but two hands in the barrel, right? 
And then both the police and the enemy against the tribe. I think they are declaring war. Right? That's not something where I want. The police do try our best to keep communities safe. But at the end of the day, people also have a responsibility to ensure their personal safety. And since I was in Cairo, the police presence in that area have been stepped up, if a matter of fact. The police had just left the Galindos residence just five minutes prior to the shooting. And there was a mobile patrol within the area as well. But as is normally the case, what they do is to wait out the police before they do what they want to get done. And so we are taking additional measures as of today. Um, we'll be having static patrols within the area to ensure that the police presence is maintained on a 24 hours basis, again with a view to see how um, we can have some <clears throat> semblance of calm within the area. Police say they have several persons of interest that they're looking for. Dwayne Moody for News 5.